Hello fellow literary scholars, welcome to my YouTube channel. For those that are joining in for the first time, kindly subscribe and hit the notification button. And of course, don't forget to like, comment and share the video to your friends so that they can learn as well. Some time ago, I did a video on analysis of Francis Mbuga's play, Aminata, and the feedback I received was so overwhelming. Uh, most of you requested me to do a stylistic analysis of the play, and yeah, here we go. Welcome back. Before I begin, I'd like to remind you to always explain how different styles contribute to thematic concerns and how they reveal character traits of different characters are in the play or in any text that you've been given. It is very important. So the first stylistic device we'll look at uh, is symbolism. Um, in Aminata, Imbuga uses symbolism to shed light on different themes and characters in uh, the play. In page 1, Nu talks about Pastangoya and says he was members glowworm in gone days. We all know that a glowworm glows in darkness. Therefore, Pastangoya being referred to a glowworm means that he brought light in darkness. In other words, he provided guidance uh, to the people in their times of ignorance. Uh, the use of uh, the soul container to symbolize the inheritance or simply the land that Pastangoya uh, gave or gives as a gift to Aminata. Now this one contributes to, uh, to the theme of uh, women empowerment. The fact that uh, uh, Pastangoya gives uh, the land to Aminata, something that women are not supposed to receive. So the use of the soil container to symbolize the inheritance or the land uh, contributes to uh, women emancipation or simply a uh, women empowerment. Uh, the next symbolic uh, tool is a stool of rule. It is symbolic in that it symbolizes the authority and the headmanship over a member. This one contributes to the theme of tradition and culture. The second stylistic device is irony. It is ironic for Ababio to accuse Aminata of making his wife, who is Misia, a leave him, yet he is the reason why she left. It is uh, his carelessness that causes the separation. When you read page 46, uh, Ababio talking to Mama Rosina, uh, he says, I can prove it, Mama Rosina. I can prove that Aminata was the reason for Messiah's departure. And when you continue to page 47, Mama Rosina uh, tells Ababio, In the matter of Messiah and her departure, you are your own enemy. Changa does not have the smell of a flower, you know. So that is the first uh, example of irony used uh, in Aminata. The second example of irony uh, is how people are happy at the end of the play when a lady is crowned the leader. Yet from the beginning, they didn't want to, uh, a lady to, uh, to become uh, a leader or a lady to sit on the stool of rule. We go on and look at the third uh, stylistic device, which is biblical or biblical allusion. This one refers to the use of uh, references, characters, and phrases from the Bible, uh, mainly to add uh, depth, uh, uh, to add uh, symbolism or resonance to their work. In page 21, Ababio refers to 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 23, which says, Drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake. Now, uh, Ababio uses this to justify and resonate with his uh, drunkenness behavior. In page 33, Antikezia refers to the events in Genesis by saying, 
God put Adam and Hawa in the garden of Eden and said, Go ye and multiply. She uses these uh, events to add depth to the idea of getting many children and to also criticize family planning which was taught by Pastor Ngoya, remember? And uh, now that Mulemi and Aminata are practicing family planning. Yeah. On to the next style which is flashback. In page 13, Jumba explores the consequences of his early actions through a flashback. Uh, he regrets um, for playing a part in welcoming the church, which he refers to as robbed strangers into member. Also in page 12, through the same uh, person Jumba's flashback, there is an explanation of events that occurred before the current timeline of the story. Uh, Jumba narrates the events that took place when women were led into drinking chicken soup and also eating chicken by Aminata and her father, Pastor Ngoya. Uh, when you read page 40, all the way up to page 43, we are led into a flashback by Aminata. Uh, her dialogue with her father uh, reveals more about the relationship and the event that led to her father uh, giving her the land. I hope up to that point you are getting something and if you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel kindly subscribe uh, for more content. Uh, I'll go on and look at uh, the other style which is the use of songs. Now Imbuga's play Aminata employs songs to enhance the emotional impact of the scenes and to also convey feelings as well as contribute to thematic concerns. Uh, when you read in page 19, Pastangoya leads the women in the song dubbed We Shall Overcome. It is a song of courage and victory and it symbolizes how the women have been able to rise over traditions uh, and culture that demean them. The song contributes to the theme of women emancipation. Again, in page 42, uh, as Aminata leads us to a flashback, we see Pastor Ngoya and Aminata burst into the song, There is a Green Hill Far Away. It is a song of salvation. As well as, well as uh, praises, since uh, Pastor Ngoya praises Aminata for being the green hill that brought about salvation to the people. You can also explore other songs. Uh, if I remember well, there is a song that Agege sings and uh, he says, Takushukuru uh, Aminata Witu or something of that sort. Uh, you can you can look at, uh, at the book and get uh, more songs we continue and look at the next um style which uh i'll put it this way metaphor and simile when you go to page two uh that name is sweet music to the ears of many here and beyond uh, it speaks of pastangoya's impact to the people I just uh, brush over this. In page 27, Ajuba, uh, sorry, Jumba is addressing Ababio and he says Aminata is no chicken's feather, you know, uh, to show that she's not as light as a feather. So this shows how Aminata can't be easily convinced. In page 15 also, that woman is as stubborn as a he got on heat. And also when you look at page 13, uh, Aminata is evil. She is members black sheep. You can elaborate on that uh, and you'll get your point depending on how uh, uh, the question has been asked. We go on and look at the second last style uh, which is local dialect and it has been used to enhance authenticity and create a sense of originality. Page 7, Agege says Basi Koroga Koroga this one is a Swahili phrase meaning to star. When you read page 29, Antikezia calls Dr. Mulemi Dagitari, which is a common word in the, uh, the Bantu community to mean doctor. And also in page 45, Ababio is talking to himself. Remember when he comes back drunk and singing and then 
he, um, he now begins to speak to himself and he says Garcia which is a Swahili word to mean idiot uh, the very last um, style that I, 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 I came up uh, with is Proverbs I don't know whether it is a style that really appears in most uh, literature materials uh, you can give me your views uh, down in the comment section whether proverbs still can be used as a style there are very many proverbs that have been used in uh, Francis Mbuga's play Aminata and uh, in page 2 it says um, sweetness of sugar is not in its color also page 3 says a wise man fills his ears before he empties his mouth page 14 also there is a, a proverb nothing but blood washes away tears of an offended spirit and also back to page 3 the tortoise may be slow but he seldom falls uh, in, in analyzing uh, proverbs as a style you could say that uh, the, play, the playwright or the author uses um, proverbs to convey wisdom and to highlight uh, different themes. Thank you for joining me in this episode. Uh, those were the different stylistic devices I was able to come up with and kindly note that those are my personal opinions and I stand to be corrected <laughs> You know down there on the comment section uh, You can comment what you think I left behind and we'll also look at them If you have any suggestion on any literature text that you yeah, you'd like us to handle uh, kindly reach out to us through biazoke60 at gmail.com and someone will get, will get back to you. Uh, Till next time, thank you for joining. Bye.